Hi everybody, this is Julissa. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. And if you're listening in the podcast, thank you so much for being here listening. It is January 21st, 2024, Sunday. I had to come here and speak about this story I just learned about. Um, let me just tell you something. I've been working on so many reels to put out there to um, to share in my in the social media platforms that I use. And, you know, everything that has been happening, we see the news, we see everything that's happening, and we're like, wow, something's getting ready to, to be, um, something like definitely coming. Um, there's a lot of fighting going on in this world, and we know the Bible says when you see these things, not just the fighting, but when you see things as the disciples, as Jesus, you know, he said, they asked Jesus, when will your time with the time when you return will be? And he said, when you see these things, you know, um, he, he, Jesus mentions a lot of stuff. I don't have the verse looked up right now. But Jesus mentions all the signs that we will see before his second coming. And we're seeing a lot of those signs right now. And you would think people that know the Lord, right? Like people like us, Christ-believing Christians, we should be getting ready to meet our creator, our savior, Jesus Christ. But this story really just really shocked me because it it doesn't even, it gives such a bad, um, the way they're framing the whole story, focusing on her, on this lady's um, belief, it really gives the, you know, Christianity like, like a bad name. That's just my personal opinion. But I'm talking to you guys today about a, a wife in Missouri who got caught poisoning the smoothie um, shakes that she would prepare for her, her husband. She was putting in some type of plant there in the shakes that she would prepare for her husband so that um, she would harm him because she wanted to go off to Pakistan out of all places. I'm not trying to say anything bad, but um, you usually hear stories like this, people going off to like other type of countries, right? Um, she was, she met somebody and she was having an affair with a man in Pakistan, like I said. So she needed to get rid of her husband, apparently. So she started poisoning him, right? And she started putting drink, uh, this plant on his drink let me tell you the name of it it's called the lily of the valley um, plant and that plant is very poisonous i'm gonna give you all the details in a little bit but here's the crazy story about this we can learn so much from the story one the biggest thing is that jesus is coming back because this is instead of i'm laughing because it's just so ridiculous guys a Christ-believing person who works at a Christian school, this person, um, her name is Sarah Schaeffer, I think I might be mispronouncing her last name, Sarah Schaeffer, um, so Christian teacher working at a Christian school got caught poisoning the, uh, the drinks that she would prepare for her husband because she was having an affair with somebody she met in Pakistan and she wanted to, I guess they met online, she was going to run off to Pakistan with this man. So she needed to get rid of her husband. The disciples asked Jesus, when will this, si when will this time be? What signs will we see? And Jesus gave the signs that we will see when he was going to come back for the, for the second time. And like I said, in the beginning we're seeing a lot of these signs and we as believers when we see things like this right um you will think that we should be praying you know getting closer with god sharing the gospel doing everything that we can do so when that time come the the time not even the angels know about it right um when that time comes we will be ready to meet jesus but this is why this is this tells you that the devil is so scared. Like, for him to like um, work on a, on a person who believes in the Lord, who knows that Jesus is coming back, and this is how this this um, teacher was working on her day day to day life. She was doing research 
Oh, now how to share the gospel. No, oh, now how to get closer to God and spending time in the Word of God. She was having an affair with the men that she met online and trying to find off ideas of how to poison her husband so that she can finally run off and live her life with this man, okay? I just so sad, you guys. Um, we should be out there. If, if the Christian community is making news at this moment, should not be, oh, you know, the Christians are so happy to support Trump, so happy to, you know, like, stop making idols, number one. That's something that God has been speaking to me about lately. We make idols, and God is a jealous God. We need to be careful about that, putting people on pedestals, okay? People, apparently, you know, they're not what they seem to be. There's a lot of people who do things out of routine, and like I said before in one of my previous videos, everybody, you know, everybody can look good on paper. You really need to get to know somebody before you actually know who they truly are. Um, there are people who are monsters to others, to others, and to you they can be very charming, very happy, always happy dolly, and then behind closed doors they're actually manipulators. And Perhaps you might never meet that side of them because they're so good at hiding it. And the sad thing about this story, about this wife who was planning, you know, who got caught. She got caught, that's the thing. Um, she got caught poisoning the drinks that her husband, like, I, I'm not a wife. I, drink, you know, I pray about to God that I want to be a wife. And, I, you know, I'm thinking about, you know, the you know, the meals that I would make for my husband. Imagine you as a wife, like how much evil is in you for you instead of like creating something wonderful for your husband. This is why it's going through your mind. Like, how can I make him sick by drinking this, right? The other thing that we learn from this story, number number two, I guess I can say, um, number three, is that we shouldn't be really getting food from anybody. You have to pray before every meal. People are so clever. When people are jealous, I mean, jealousy is such a crazy thing. Jealousy will lead somebody to murder. Um, after they try to murder you verbally and doing slander and then they do character assassination because they're so jealous of you. And if that doesn't work, um, they will eventually will do something worse, right? So you have to be careful because a lot of people do this, right? They're like, oh, they they put in the, the food platter in one hand and with the other hand, they're, they're just doing that just to gather information about you to use it against you. So you have to be so careful about that. And like I said, don't try to eat from everybody's table. You have to be careful about that too. Um, You have to be careful about that. And always pray before every, before every meal, we, you should be praying, okay? So it is so sad that, you know, in marriage, you would think people will have the best connection, the best trust, because, you know, they're in marriage, they're in covenant. And this is what this, um, this woman was planning. This is what she was doing. She got caught doing it. Let me read to you guys briefly a little bit of the story. The husband told cops that he suspected his wife was poisoning him after experiencing extreme fatigue, confusion, blurred vision, severe cut of mouth, and nausea. After drinking smoothies she made for him, according to a court um, affidavit. A Christian school teacher, this is how they're framing it, fra uh, framing the whole story everywhere. A Christian school teacher is facing an attempted murder charge for allegedly trying to kill her husband, authorities say. The Jefferson City Police Department arrested Sarah Schaeffer, or Schaeffer, I guess, I, that's how I pronounce it with my accent, on Tuesday after her husband secretly recorded a video. This man, can you imagine? <laughs> oh, I feel so bad for the, for the guy, for the husband, because this man probably coming home or like getting ready to go to work, he... You know, he's taking a drink that she prepares to for him. And he's he's probably thinking, wow, she's such a good woman, right? She's cooking something for me. She's giving me something so that I don't, you know, I have more energy. And this drink is, is slowly killing him. And 
good thing that he had revelation. I don't know if he prayed about it. He had this sermon. So much so to actually put a camera so that he can call her doing something. Um, it says here, her husband secretly recorded a video that allegedly showed her putting a potential lethal substance into the smoothie, according to the court records. In an interview with police, the husband said that he suspected his wife started adding poison to his smoothie six weeks prior and said there were eight incidents where she had allegedly prepared his smoothie and after consuming them, he experienced extreme fatigue, confusion, blurred vision, severe um, nausea. And the husband said then he decided to set up a camera. That's a great thing that he did that because, you know, people play the victim. How dare you accuse me of something like this, right? It's people who play it, man. People think they're fooling, they're fooling their own self. People will, it's like everybody's an actor out there. You have to be so careful. Pray for this sermon. We're in the last days, okay? So think about that. He set up the camera. He decided to set up the camera that will record the kitchen in a video taken on the morning of her arrest. The wife is, uh, is allegedly putting con uh, content of a bag label, Lily of the Valley. Wow. Lily of the Valley into a bowl, according to the affidavit. Can you imagine that? <laughs> like, that is so crazy. Did, let me just say something. Like I, like I told you guys, I'm single. I am praying for my husband. Um, I am praying for that. This woman, at some point in her life, she probably prayed to get married. She probably prayed to God for her husband. Like, she's going to answer to God one day. This is the husband that you asked for, that you were given, and this is what you were planning on doing. You think, you think you're going to fool God? Like, I'm not even talking about the affair that she was having with this man online uh, out of Pakistan that she pl was planning on going to me. That's a whole nother thing, having an affair. So she, she's planning this, causing pain to somebody by something that you give to them. And you think God is not going to come knocking on your door? One day you go, she's going to get shocked by the Lord. Okay, because right now the justice system is, you know, thank God for that video that he was able to record of her. And I believe she actually admitted, but people think they're going to just, you know, justify their actions. It's crazy. Um, the footage that he recorded also shows her emptying the contents of what appeared to be the same bowl into the husband's smoothie that morning. The smoothie is now being tested at the Missouri State Highway Patrol Laboratory. Once, the, once in custody, the wife allegedly admitted to poisoning her husband. The defendant, listen to this, the defendant admitted to adding the root of Lily of the valley into the blender while preparing the smoothie for the victim to drink. The defender admitted to doing this with intent to cause the victim harm. The defender admitted to knowing that ingesting the lily of the valley could result in death. Wow. This is, you will think, and I'm putting her, you know, obviously not everybody's thinking that, but everything that's going on in this world we as believers, right? I'm saying that because I'm assuming she's a, a Christian school teacher. I'm assuming she's a believer to believer in the Lord Jesus Christ. And we see all the signs, everything that's happening. Well, I mean, Jesus is coming back soon. You will think you will be getting yourself preparing the sense, getting closer to the God, fasting, praying, you know, sharing the gospel, all of that. And this is what this woman was doing. And now we know her story, but there are so many of us not getting in with the point like we can hear the trumpet sound and people be like oh why you come today like i have so many other plans going on it's like wow like really it's crazy but this is the this is the world right now um she already she appeared in court this past friday and entered a plea as not guilty while telling the judge she will be hiring a private counsel um a private counsel. So, briefly, I'm going to tell you guys the um, 
the danger of the this plant called the lily of the valley and what effects it has because this is crazy let me tell you what it is I'm gonna put a photo hopefully I can find a photo so I can put it there Lily of the Valley is a plant with a strong scent. It contains chemicals, chemicals called toxic cardiac glycoside with sharp poisonous. The cardiac glycosides in the Lily of the Valley affect the heart. These chemicals can cause dangerous irregular heartbeat. People use Lily of the Valley for heart problems, including heart failures. I guess after, you know after it's been treated, right? You can just like grab it if you see it and be like, okay, let me use it for uh, medical purposes. Um, irregular heartbeat and other conditions, but there's no good scientific evidence to support this. Well, that's, that's uh, a website that says that Lily of the Valley um, will be, it, it could be uh, labeled as unsafe. Don't confuse with Lily of the Valley with access rule. It says, yeah, which are not the same. So this plant um, that this wife was, wife was putting in the husband's movie was causing irregular heartbeat and that can cause heart failure. And she was preparing this. Can you, I like, cannot even think about that. Every morning you're gonna wake up and be like, let me have more powder so that you can see somebody struggle physically to eventually, you know, the plan was to get rid of him because she had an affair with the man she met online. Talk about how the enemy operates in somebody's life. The enemy comes to steal, steal the marriage, kill, kill the probably husband, and destroy this woman's life. Basically, all three of them in one. The enemy only comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And this is a, this story is another example how the enemy is operating right now, especially when it comes to marriages. You know, breaking the covenant of the Lord. So, I just wanted to share this story with you guys. Let me know what you guys think about this. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel and listening to the podcast. God bless. Hi everybody, this is Julissa. I'm here to invite you to my podcast, Julissa Designs, and it can be found on Anchor, Apple podcast and spotify you can join me every day as i make episodes of the latest news real life stories and i also share my favorite bible verse hope to see you then god bless everybody this is julissa thank you so much for coming to my youtube channel please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell and if you want to know more about me you can always visit www.julissadesigns.com have a great day everybody god bless